Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. The fear of the Lord is what makes you wise. Just like when you had a, a father at home. When your father told you to do something and you didn't do it, you got scared. You know why? Because you know your father was going to punish you. Right. That's what the Bible is saying. When your heavenly father tells you, keep the Sabbath day holy. Don't eat shrimp, pork, or lobster. Right. Keep fringes on your clothes. You should be in fear because he will punish you. Read it again. Surah chapter 19 and verse 20. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is our wisdom. Read on. And in our wisdom is the performance of the law. That's what makes you wise. When you do the law of God, right. when you actually keep the law of God, you become wise. That's you right. become a person with sense. That's what makes you wise. Now, don't take my word for it. Let's see if Jesus Christ knew that as well. Get John chapter 14, verse 49. Because guess, when Christ walked this earth, he knew one thing, the commandments of the Father, that was life. That's right. That was the way to live. That was the way I can avoid all the plagues of this earth if I keep the commandments of God. Right. Read that. John 14. John 14. Matter of fact, John 12, verse 49. That Get what I want. John 12, verse 49. John chapter 12 and verse 49. This is Get Christ out. talking while he walked the earth. Let's see what he said. Read. For I am not spoken of myself. Christ said, I didn't come to do my own thing. Even me, Christ, I have somebody that I follow. I listen to. Read. But the Father which sent me, uh -huh. he gave me a commandment. What did the Father give Christ? He gave me a commandment. Uh-huh. That I, what I should say and what I should speak. The Heavenly Father gave Christ everything he needed to do to conduct himself on this earth. Right. right. Watch this. Read on. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. What did Christ say God's commandments is? That his commandment is life everlasting. That's why when Christ walked the earth, he said, think not. I have not come to destroy the law. Right. Because he knew that was the life for the Israelites. That's right. He knew right. that's what would keep you away from death. Right. But guess what? Today, you don't take the time to listen to the commandments of God. Right. You don't even take the time to learn who you are according to the scriptures. Yeah. You take everything this so-called word has given you and you take it and run. Give me Jeremiah 10. Bring it up. Where did, where did the Super Bowl come from? What benefit has that given you? What benefit has football given the so-called black man in the Bring it up. Bring it up. You have become a slave on TV. Right. Right. That's exactly what you are, a slave right. on TV. You work out. You stretch your body so you can become a slave on TV. That's what Super Bowl and football has done for you. But you didn't learn that from the Bible. This is where you learned it from. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Bring it Hear ye the word which the Lord speak unto you, uh -huh. O house of Israel. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. What did Christ say? Learn not the way of the heathen. Your heavenly father said, do not learn the ways of these other nations. That's right. That was not your heritage. Bring it up. Because after you play 20, 30 years in the NFL and your body broken apart, do they come and check on you? 
Do they come and care about you? Right. No. You die alone, broke and poor, because they done used you up. Read it again. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen, because that was never, never your heritage. That's right. That's not what was given to you. But you so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American, you take exactly what they give you. Right. And don't question it at all. Bring it out. So much, you yeah. teach the kid, the children you make yeah. to follow the same right. way. Right. So they end up in prison. They end up destroyed. They have no idea who they are. Right. But we know who you are. You are the Israelites. That's right. You are the children of the living God. That's right. And we can prove it with the Bible. So-called Hispanic man, there's a reason you come to America. So-called Hispanic woman, there's a reason you come to America. You come here seeking their, their lie, the so-called American dream. But guess what? You still catching the bus. That's right. You still working long hours. Your house is still upside down. You still getting drunk because you will not listen to the laws of God. That's right. You got some? Read that. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. You want to be just like them, but you never sit in the skybox. Right. You never get to spend the millions that they make. Right. You never get to live like them, right. but you want to be part of the Super Bowl. You want to be part of football, and you never make anything that they make. They use you. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. But that's what they're doing. Any person that would change your history and lie to you is oppressing you. That's right. They do not love you. Right. They do not care about you. Right. They change your name from um, Issachar to Mexican. Right. What does Mexico mean? Bring it out. What does Mexican mean? Bring it up. They change your name from Judah to African American. Right. What does that mean? Bring it up. They lie to you. That's they right. are oppressing you. But the Bible will set you free. That's, That's right. right. Wait a minute. Why is the so-called Mexican stronger, smarter, work harder than these other nations? Black man, you know I'm talking to you. You work harder, you smarter than them, but you still at the bottom. Why? Because they are oppressing you. That's right. right. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. In be thou, not the oppressor, uh -huh. and choose none of his words. But it's okay. I'm in America. They say I can play basketball. I could play, yeah. uh, be part of the Super Bowl. Right. What did the Bible say? And choose not of his way. You know why? Because every time you choose his ways, you end up in the bottom. That's right. right. His system is built on your back. His system is built on your oppression. That's what you don't understand. He gives you rap music. Why? Because guess what? That's going to make you kill your brother. That's right. right. He gives you drugs. Because guess what? That's going to make you forget about being a leader. Right. Right. He gives you um, um, condoms and all that because that's going to make you forget about being a father. You don't see that? If you, you leave responsibility. You leave being a man. Right. You bump that rap music thinking, guess what? It makes me tougher. It makes me a man. It makes you fill up his prison system, that's which he right. gets paid off. That's you know? right. You don't understand it. The Bible say that. Give me um, evil communication. Bring <laughs> Listen. It I, I, chance, I, I, I challenge someone to come here and prove us wrong. Anything that we saying is wrong. That's right. You are the children of Israel. That's right. But you are at the bottom of this society because your heavenly father say, do this. No, I'm going to do that. Right. right. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Uh -huh. He not deceived, evil communication, corrupt good manner. Evil communication corrupt good manner. Think about it. Think about it. Rap music talks about drugs, killing, and taking advantage of women, but it's on every radio station for all families to listen to. Hey, brother. Hey, brother, come on. Hey, brother, come here, come here, come here. What's his name? What's your name, brother? Trey. My name is Officer Abraham. Let me ask you a question. Trey, look at this sign right here. This is what they call us here in America, right? African American, West Indian black, all these things, right? What would point at the tribe that you really come from? Can you do that for me? What tribe do you really come from? This is what they call us, but this is what the Bible calls us. So which one would you be? Which one would you be from? All praises. The brother from the tribe of Judah. That's, That's right. right. So I'm gonna show you something. Come here, brother. Come here. 
Because one thing you need to understand, when you come from the tribe of Judah, you are a god on this earth. Hey, right. You understand what I'm saying? You know who else came from the tribe of Judah? You don't know, right? It's okay, I'm gonna help you out. This man came from the tribe of Judah and all the world praises him, not, none, not understanding that he came from a righteous royal tribe. Yeah. Read that. Hebrews chapter seven and verse 14. All right. yeah. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It's talking about Jesus the Christ. Jesus the Christ comes out of the same tribe you come from. Right. Now I'm gonna help you understand how special you are, which they never taught you, Trey. Give me Genesis 49. The tribe of Judah had a very important responsibility. You know what your responsibility was? You are to teach the rest of the tribes to come back to the understanding of the Bible. Did you know that? Hey, brother, what's your name? So Trey, don't leave. But I just want to get him caught up. What's your name, brother? Keith, man. Keith. Hey, let me ask you a question. I just asked Trey the same question. I'm going to ask you the same thing. Check over this sign right here. Now, we know in this land, they gave us these titles. African American, Af American Blacks, West Indians, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, but the Bible calls us this. So my question to you, Keith, is which tribe do you come from? All oh, praise to the most high. I'm gonna help Dre and Keith understand how special the tribe of Judah is. Read what I want. Genesis chapter 49 and verse eight. So this is, matter of fact, start at verse one. Verse one, uh -huh. because what's gonna happen here is we're in the midst of prophecy. This is happening right now. Read. And Jacob called unto his son uh -huh. and said, Gather yourselves together, mm -hmm. that I may tell you that what shall befall you in the last days. In the what days? In the last days. So we are living in the last days. That's so right. Jacob called all his sons, which are the 12 tribes of Israel, and he's going to go tribe by tribe, son by son. This applies to you. This applies to you. This. Now, let's see what he told the tribe of Judah. What's going to happen to them? Read. Verse 8. Judah, there are he whom thy brethren shall pray. Did you hear what he just said? What did he say again? Judah, there are he whom thy brethren shall pray. The tribe of Judah are supposed to be praised by their brother. That's Why? Right. Because you guys are the leaders. That's right. right. You guys are the teachers. Who was the first, who was the first um, nationality, Hispanic or black man, to open somebody's heart? fix it and close it back up. The black man, That's the right. so-called black man. Who was the first one to say, we can have our own banks, hospitals, we could live outside of this white man's system? Who did that? Black the black man, the tribe of Judah, That's Black right. Wall Street. Read that again. Genesis chapter 49 and verse eight. Uh -huh. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall pray. So guess what, my question to you is, as a so-called black man, are you supposed to be laying down or are you supposed to be standing up? Y'all supposed to be standing up. That's because right. everybody else is looking for y'all. We need to know who we are. Judah gonna teach him that. That's right. Judah gonna wake him up. Right. We need to know how to live the words of God. Who gonna do that? Judah gonna wake him up. Now, nah, I'm gonna go into a little bit of history, right? Watch this, now read on. Let's keep the Bible going. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemy. You know what that means? The tribe of Judah shall be in the neck of thy enemies because you was going to live right there with that white man. I'm going to prove that. It says what? What did it say, friend? Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Now, it says the word enemy. I got the proof out of the Bible that that enemy is up. really the white man, right? We're going to do it with visuals and we're going to do it with the Bible. So, the whole is up. This is historical fact. Come closer, brothers. Check these visuals out. This ain't in no comic book. This ain't in no fairy tale. This is truly what happened to the tribe of Judah here in America. The women are in cotton fields. The men are being sold on auction blocks. The people did put yokes of iron on their neck, right or wrong. So let's prove if that's in the Bible. Read that. Now, uh, give me verse 48. What nation of people did this to them? Let me ask you a question. What was your name, Brian? Get your name. Dwayne, Keith, and Trey. Who did this to the so-called black man in America? Uh, Say it again. Israel, I mean, the Caucasian, the, uh, Let's make a plan so everybody understand. White people. There you go. White people did that. Let's see what the Bible calls them. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. What was happened to the tribe of Judah in America? Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Uh-huh. 
which the Lord just sinned against thee. The Heavenly Father sinned that nation against us because we didn't keep the laws of God. Right. Watch this. Read on. In hunger. In what? In hunger. When Master said it was time for you to eat, that's when Master gave you food. Read on. And in thirst. When Master said it's time to give you some water because you look a little thirsty, that's when you got your water. Read on. And in nakedness. And in what? And in nakedness. When Master said, okay, those rags on you a little too much, now I'm going to give you your clothes. Read on. And it won't of our things. And everything. I'll tell you when you can have a wife. And if the wife I give you, I can still sleep with her when I want to. I'm going to prove to you that's in the Bible. Bring it up. Read on. <clears throat> and he uh -huh. shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What did he, what did the white man put on the tribe of Judah here in America? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. You are until the leaders. You are the leaders on this earth. But guess what? Because we didn't keep the laws of God, you can put it right here. Because we didn't keep the laws of God, God said, the tribe of Judah, my leaders, I'm going to put a yoke of iron around your neck. Read on. Until he have destroyed thee. Until he what? Until he have destroyed now, thee. Now guess what? Do we have yokes of iron around our neck now? Because we destroyed. I'm going right. to prove that. We just proved that we had to serve them for food, water, you can leave it right there, and yokes of iron around your neck, right? We don't have that around our neck because we destroyed. What does he call you now in America? A what? A African what? Give me one tradition from Africa that y'all do today right now. None. None. Right. But we still call ourselves what? I'm not African American. Exactly. Right. Right. That's right. right. But that's my point. We still call ourselves African Americans and we ain't got one tradition from Africa. Those are two continents. Huh? Yeah. It's all praises, brother G. Those are two continents named after two white people. And we still call ourselves that today. The Bible said he would. What did we do with the yokes of iron? Until he have destroyed you are destroyed people. I ain't got to put yokes of iron around your neck. Because guess what? In your head, you an African American. Right. In his head, he a Haitian. Right. In his head, he a Jamaican. Knowing that we all got off the slave slave ship, the same slave ships. But guess what? Because I'm destroyed, you my enemy. Right. I'm going to kill you. I don't love you. And guess what? The one thing that will bring us together is the words of God. We reject it. Right. That's a white man's book. Right. Ain't nobody taught me that right. I don't want nothing to do with it. It just proved your true history that they never taught you in school. That's right. right. Watch this. Get verse 68. Verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Stop. It said the Lord shall bring the tribe of Judah into Egypt. We got to find out what does the word Egypt mean? Because remember, God is the, he is the author of words. He is the authors of similes and metaphors. He created that. Right. So Egypt, does it really mean the landmass of Egypt? Trey, watch this. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And God spake. And God spake the words. Uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. And, and God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. So the word. Egypt really means what? Bondage, slavery. Right. That's what it means. So watch this, go back to 68. Now this is historical fact too, hold it up. Look at the pictures down here. Did this really happen to the tribe of Judah, the so-called American black? You better believe it did. Y'all was fitted into ships like sardines. Y'all was packed in because guess what? Every slave they brought over here, that's money for me. Every slave that made it over here, that's money for me. So I'm gonna stack y'all up as much as I can. Do you think, do you, I'm glad you know that. Do you think that shit was designed to fit 300, 400 slaves in there? You bet, no, not at all. You got stuffed in there. You got stuffed in there. Let's see if that's in the Bible, read. Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into bondage, into slavery again with ships. With what? With ships. That's not our history, brothers. That's not our history, brothers. Bring it out. Has a white man ever said, hey, come down, let me sit down and show you your true history of the Bible? Has he ever done that? Has an Arab man ever said, you know what? You are God on this earth. You got a direct, direct bloodline to the author of this book. Has he ever did that for you? No, he will never do that for you. Right. What we're doing right now is showing our brothers love. 
You are from the tribe of Judah. That's right. You are from the royal tribe. And your responsibility is to wake up and teach the other nations who they are. That's, That's right. right. That's what you were designed for. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. Turn it back over. Read. No, no, matter of fact, no, no, no. I can't believe I forgot that. It says, he shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. The same way I'm telling you is exactly how it's going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Unto your what? Your enemy. So, not my words. What does the Bible call the white man that sold us? What does it call them? Or what does it call them? Our enemies. Our enemies. Right. That's what it says. Read it again. Look it up. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. For what? For bond men and bond women. It just told you you were going to be slaves here in America. That's, right. That's, right. That's what the Bible just said. So right. what, what, what are we trying to get you to understand? You have to come back to your true nationality. Right. You got to come back to who you really are. Right. You guys are the royal the royal tribe of Judah. That's right. right. You got a big responsibility on your back. Right. And guess what? Until y'all, if y'all don't get right, everybody else ain't gonna get right. That's right. right. You see that? So what do you guys have to do? You have to come back to the laws of God. Watch this. Let's get one more curse, then we're gonna get into the laws we broke that put us in this condition. I want stay right here, verse 32. Pick it up. I'm gonna show you something. Right here, what's happening? What's happening to the children? In slavery, when we are able to keep our children for us and watch them grow old in slavery, what happened to them, brother Keith? They got split. They got what? Split up. They got split up. Because guess what? You have sex with a slave woman, y'all create a child. For the slave master, what is that child? That's money. That's my property. So I'm going to sell that property and make some money. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Uh -huh. My sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Unto what? Unto another people. Read on. And the eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. You, you know, you can put it down. You know why your eyes will fail with longing all the day long? Because you know that boy look just like you. You'll never see him again. Right. You know that daughter look just like your, like the woman you love, and she'll never see him again. Right. That's what the Bible is saying. So I got a question, Trey, Keith, and what's your name again, sir? Dwayne. Dwayne. Why did this happen to us? Why? It's there. It's in the history books. Why did this happen to us? We didn't abide by the law. We he got it. The law. He got it. We did not abide by the law. Now we're going to read it out of the Bible. Bring it up. Verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments. No, I'm just supposed to have faith in the white Jesus. To observe, to do all his commandments. Read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that are these curses. Because that's exactly what we just read. These are not these are not blessings. These are curses. Right. That all these curses which did come to pass, read, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It will change your life forever. So the laws of God, they are very important. They are very important. Get Sirach 19. They are very important. Sirach 19 and verse 20. Now, what I'm gonna do, because I love my brother. Now, this society tells you love is hugs and kisses. Right. We're gonna see what love is in the Bible. You understand? Read that, Sirach 19 and 20. Sirach chapter 19 and verse 20. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. You know what that means, the fear of the Lord? I was raised with my father, and my father was a hard man. But I knew why he was a hard man, because he didn't want us to fall into prison, Drugs, AIDS, STD. Right. When my father told me to do something and I didn't do it, what you think came over me? Yeah. I was afraid. Scared. I was scared. Yeah. Guess right. what your heavenly father is saying the same thing. Read it again. The fear of the Lord. So when you fear, man, I'm messing up. My heavenly father, I'm messing up. Read. It's all wisdom. It's all what? It's all wisdom. You know why it becomes your wisdom? Because guess what? When I knew I didn't do what my father told me to do, I got the hell up and fixed the situation. Right. So it's telling you right now, as a tribe of Judah, when you are not keeping the laws of God in that fear, which is supposed to come on you, you got to come back to his laws. It's going to say it. Read on. And in all wisdom uh -huh. is the performance of the law. That's when your father looked. That's my wise son right there. 
Yep. That's my wise son right there because he's doing exactly what I told him to do out of the scriptures. That's what makes you wise. You understand what I'm saying, brothers? Right. Now, I got to prove more. I want you to look at this Bible as a reality. The so-called black man between the ages of 19 and 28, where does he spend most of his time? Where? In the hood and where else? We're going to get the scripture. Isaiah 42 and 22. Bring it up! I don't want you to walk away without any doubt in your mind. This book was always for us. This book always a prayer and the great. We're going to get that too. Why is it? We're going to start with prison. Then we're going to start the hood. And then we're going to get the grave. Read. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22. Uh -huh. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Robbed and spoiled. What was we robbed for? Your true nationality. That's we right. read it already. Your true history, because when you got off those slave ships, you know the first thing I'm going to take away from you? You ain't reading a damn thing. Uh, yeah. You ain't going to read no history book because it's going to connect you to who you truly are. So I'm not going to let you read it right, and I'm not going to let you teach your people. Read on. They are all of them snared in hole, uh -huh. and they are hid in prison houses. Where are the children of Israel? And they are hid in prison houses. Bro. That's the Bible speaking right there. That's, it, right, that's prophecy right there. Cause you know, you know, you know how you know you robbed and spoiled? Instead of looking at prison like, man, I don't want to go there. We go in there proudly. Hey man, it is what it is. It's part of being a man. I gotta go in there. I gotta live that life. And that's good, brother, but the majority of our people we destroyed. I just, excuse me, sir. Go ahead. I just turned 49 years old Friday. Right. I know a bunch of people. I know a bunch of people. Uh huh. And I ride a bike to work every day. Right. 10 miles every day. To do right, to have a job. To, to, job. to not be standing on the phone and, and doing what I used to do 20 something years ago. You see what I'm saying? You know, it, 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 it takes people like us right. to talk to them young cats, man. Because guess they what? Lost, bro. You're right. You're right. Because guess what? If not, they're going to be stored in prison houses. Right. That's what the Bible just said. Yeah, now watch this, because I don't want to miss anybody's point. You said the hood, right? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Uh -huh. oh. Curse shall there be in the city. Where's the most cursed part in any one city? The hood. The hood. You're going to be cursed in the city. I'm going to give you the worst place to live. Filled with rats, roaches, drugs, AIDS, and all type of corruption. Right. I'm going to give you that. You know why? Because you don't want to keep my law. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Read it again. Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. Uh -huh. no. Curse shall the be in the city. Now watch. Read verse 66. Verse 66. This is part of being cursed in that city. Read. And thy life shall hang in doubt. Yo, what? And thy life shall hang in doubt. Man, the police around, bro. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. Read on. Before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night. You shall what? And thou shalt fear day and night. Can you truly be a man of your family if you always in fear, shaking and scared? Right. You can't be a man of your, your, your household like that. But when you come back to the laws of God, your heavenly father say, don't worry, I got you. That's, That's right. right. Now you stand up like a man. Because guess what? It ain't mortal, it ain't carnal, it's spiritual. That's right. You see what I'm saying, brothers? And shall have none assurance of thy life. You got no assurance of your life. I don't care what rapper you know, when they get that charge to stand in front of that judge, they throw on a shirt and tie and be like, Lord, I don't hope I hope I don't get these years. You're gonna get that same I'll, time as a regular. You, you, you see what I'm saying, bro? You're yeah, gonna get the same that time. That same because time. Because guess what? Whether you believe it or not, you're an Israelite according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. And that got to happen to you because you're not keeping the laws of God. You, you with me, Trey? So this is the hood. Read on. In the morning, verse 67, uh -huh. in the morning thou shalt say, would God it were even. Uh -huh. And at even thou shalt say, would God it were morning. That's living in fear, man. Man, I need the day to pass by. I'm having a horrible day. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm having problems. I just want to go to sleep and hope that it's okay tomorrow. I don't want to deal with the day. Wait, 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 wait. You got to get something to eat? No, I'm going to go get my son. And then okay. You're going to check. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, check yeah. this out. Please come back, bro, because there's more I want to go over. Word is born, man. All right, all right. Hey, and check this out. On the fly, there's a school and a website where you can come and get more information. You really live I'll be down back, man. I'll all right, back, man. All right, all right. Word, bro. I appreciate you, Keith. I appreciate you. So, I don't want y'all brothers walking away with no understanding, because now, one of the things I said, I got to prove to you what love is, right? Get love. Get love. Wait, no. Get Leviticus. So he can understand the hood has always been in the Bible. 
read that 20 um, cities, pestilence. You know what I want? The biggest 26 cities, pestilence. I think that's 17. Uh, 16. 16. Yeah, get that. Yeah, 16. Yeah, get that. Leviticus 26 by 16. Uh -huh. I also will do this unto you. Uh -huh. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, uh -huh. and a burning egg that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. That's my word. That's my word. Oh, 25. 25. Verse 25. This is the hood. And I will bring a sword upon you. Sword goes into death. Judgment. You, you, you got that trait? Sword goes into death, judgment. So God say, because you're not keeping my laws, I'm going to bring death and judgment. Read. That shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant. Right, because a covenant is a contract. The tribe of Judah, you guys made a covenant with the Heavenly Father. Right. Because we are your chosen people, I'm going to keep your laws. Right. Just like a cell phone. Hey, you want to use your cell phone? Okay, you got to pay that bill every month. Right. When I don't pay the bill every month, what happens? They cut off. That's exactly what God is saying. I'm gonna, because you didn't want to keep my laws, I got to do the other part of the contract. The other part of the contract say, I'm gonna punish you. Read on. Hey, when ye are gathered together within your cities, within your what? Within your city, in your hoods, I will send the pestilence among you. I will send the pestilence among you. If you go in any hood right now, door to door, somebody got gout, AIDS, gonorrhea. Um, STDs, cancer, diabetes, it's some type of illness going on with their bodies in a clustered area. Why? Because we're not keeping the laws of God. That's right. You see what I'm saying, fellas? This Bible is not a fairy tale. The white man tried to make it a fairy tale. Right. But it is literally our history. That's this right. is how we're going to fix it. So now, let's get love and let's get why we do. This is love, what we're doing. I'm going to prove it. Because the white man I have you think of love is give me giving you a card. Love is just me dapping you up. No, that ain't gonna change your life. That ain't gonna change your way of thinking. Bring it up! Spiritual. Got it, bro. It's spiritual. I got to be that brother. If I know better, I got to show my brother how to do it. That's why you read that. Second John verse 6. Uh -huh. And this is love uh -huh. that we walk after his commandments. God said, love is when you keep my words. That's right. Because that means you truly love me. Going back to the example of a father. My father told me to clean my room. I ain't clean a damn thing. Now I come up to my father, hey, give me a hug, man. Do my father really feel loved by me? Does you think, do you think my father's looking at me like I, like, like I love him? No. What I told you to do, you didn't do it. You ain't listening. You don't love me. You're lying to me now. Right. Now you're trying to pull a fast one on me. You can't come, dog. You see, brother, you in the spirit. Read that again and again. Leviticus 19, 17. Read. Second John, verse 6. And this is love. Uh -huh. That we walk after his commandments. Uh -huh. This is the commandment that as ye have heard. From the beginning. From the what? From the beginning. Now you know what's heavy about this? This is the New Testament saying that love is keeping the commandments from the beginning. Well, what commandments are they talking about? The ones from the Old Testament. Right. Which are still here. You see what I'm saying? Get Leviticus 19.17. Leviticus 19.17. And then we're going to get some laws to help your brothers get out of sin. You understand what I'm saying? You can put that down. Because I don't want you to walk away. We just did a good job of thoroughly showing that the so-called black man, this is your Bible. Your history is in this book, right or wrong, fellas. All praise. That's what I'm saying, Trey. So now, you should never call yourself an American black. Right. You really come from the tribe of Judah. Right. right. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Read that. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. The scriptures, the law said, I can't hate my brothers in my mind. Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. You know what it means to rebuke? That means to correct. I got to correct my brother. Right. Because I know if he still, if he keep going the way he's going, nah. So if I love Trey, Trey, I'm going to teach you the laws of God because I don't want God to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Read on. And not suffer sin upon him. Because I can see the sin on my brother. Right. And he ain't got on fringes. He ain't got on a beard. Man, we talking about the scriptures. His head is covered. My brother's in sin. Yeah. He gon' he gonna die. Yeah. Read on. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy 
people. You know what that just said? That means between brothers, I'm what not supposed that? to have a grudge against you. If we apply that one commandment, would not be no Crips and Bloods. Right. No, no jails, no nothing. Because if I got a problem with my brother, we gonna sort it out like men. That's right. Because you got the same history as me, you go through the same crap as me, you got the same blood as me. That's my right. Brother. We don't. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Wait a minute, you shall do what? Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That's the Old Testament right there. Saying That's you should right. love your neighbor as you love yourself. You're not gonna cut off your arm. You're not gonna burn your hand on purpose. Right. You're not gonna pluck out your eyes. You love your body, right? You're supposed to love your brother the same way. That's That's right. Right. You see what I'm saying? So now let's get some laws that will help my brothers get out of sin. I'm gonna start with him right quick, and then I'm gonna tr transition over you. All right, brother, please don't leave. Let's start with the head covering. Now watch this, Trey, now watch this. I'm, ha hey, clap it up. All praises, brother, all praises. See that beautiful hair you got? Everybody in the Bible had the same thing. That's all right. praises, brother. Now I'm gonna show you how that was a sin. Read that. Leviticus chapter, I'm sorry. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse three. Uh -huh. But I will have you know, that the head of every man is Christ. So it's given an order. The head of every man, which means the man that's gonna give me salvation, the man I should follow, is my head. The head of every man is who? Is Christ. He's my example. He's the one that I follow, I learn from, I try to emulate, right? You know. And the head of the woman is the man. It has never been a 50-50 in marriage. Your wife, your woman, is supposed to look at you, her husband, as her head. That's she right. She listens to you, she follows you, and she ain't giving you no talk back. Right. You are the leader. You are the leader of the family. You got me? Watch this. Read. And the head of Christ is God. Uh-huh. And the head of Christ is God. Even Christ, he follows his father. Read on. Verse 4. Every man pray or prophesy. So now this is a commandment. Every man that's praying or in the midst of prophecy, going over the prophecies of this book, read, having his head covered, having his head covered with a hat, scarf, meat tree, read, dishonoreth his head. You are dishonoring Christ. That's why I asked the brother, hey, we got to take this off. And all praises to the Most High, you took it off. Guess who you just gave honor to? Christ. Right. That's right. right. See what I'm saying, Trey? Now, was that hard? That's not hard at all. It's a simple commandment our people just don't know. But guess what? They will die for that. If they don't honor that commandment, they will die for that. You right. understand what I'm saying? So now we got him on the head cover, right? Now I'm going to help you out. Let's get something that you can, because you have something on you that he needs. Give me that. And it's royal too, man. You don't know. Matter of fact, you see that picture right there of Christ? That's the true image of Christ. Check, check that out. Because they taught us, one of the lines they taught us out of being an American black, they taught us that Jesus Christ was a white man. That's not true. Jesus Christ is a black man from the tribe of what? Judah. Judah. That's right. And guess what tribe you from? What tribe you from? Judah. Right. Say it with pride, man. Say it with pride. You a leader of the people. That's you gotta right. teach the people. Right. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Be proud of that thing, man. You understand? Now read that. Leviticus chapter 21. And verse 5, uh -huh. they shall not make boldness upon their head, neither shall they shave up the corner of their beard. So guess what? Being a child of Israel and being from the tribe of Judah, you are not allowed to shave your head. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.